but it's not like super, super duper smooth, right? It's like it has, uh, and that's what I'm most nervous about because this is a bunch of little needles. One. Hey guys, it's me, Christina Marie. Guess what I got in the mail today? So check it out. I'm gonna open it up and show you what this is. I have been a fan of this YouTuber forever and was actually like this close on purchasing purchasing this when they reached out to me and they were like, would you like to try it? I'm like, heck yeah. Anyways, this YouTuber that creates this, her name is Jen Amber. Her company is called Jen Amber Beauty. Like this is called Derma Roller, Derma Rolling, okay? Like if you guys don't know what Derma Rolling is, it's like you take a roller that's full of like tons of little needles. Look at this. I haven't even opened it or pulled it out of the package yet. And there it goes. I just dropped something. Look how sanitary that is. It comes like in a plastic container. So it's a roller, right? With like tons of tiny needles. So the tiny needles, you run them along your face, right? And then it punctures your skin. Tiny, tiny, tiny little needles. <laughs> there we go. Like, I'll get a close-up of this, guys. These are like the smallest needles you've ever seen. Tiny, tiny, extremely sharp needles. Now, she takes a lot of pride because I've watched her videos for a long time. She takes a lot of pride on having a quality derma roller, meaning that these needles come to a fine, fine, sharp point because a lot of needles for derma rolling are not very finely tipped and they're dull, which actually is bad for your face. You want a very, very finely tipped needle. Anyways, what you do is you run this along your face. I'm going to show you guys later on a different day of me actually using this at night. You run this along your face and it punctures the skin, right? Bringing more collagen up to your skin. What happens when you cut yourself? When you cut yourself, a scar forms. It's like a new layer of skin. It's smooth and nice, right? Similar on a very tiny scale of what this bad boy is supposed to do. So you're rolling it puncturing little holes those holes fill in and supposedly it gets rid of wrinkles which uh 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 yeah wrinkles it helps with elasticity it makes you look young and like a teenager all over again <laughs> i wish anyways i was actually considering getting botox this year because yeah i haven't whatever you know i'm lazy sometimes and sometimes i don't sleep with the things i'm supposed to sleep with uh to prevent wrinkles <laughs> But I was thinking of getting Botox and when Amber actually reached out to me, I was like, heck yeah. When Jin Amber re reached out to me, I was like, heck yeah, I will try it. Anything to avoid paying a big, like, I don't know, four or $500 bill to, um, to my doctor for giving me Botox. I have never, just so you guys know, never, ever, ever done anything to my face. No Botox, no nothing. I mean, I think the last facial I got, I was, <laughs> how old was I? I was like 20 and I'm 42. So yeah, I actually take pride and try to take care of my skin. And that is why I don't think I have any crow's feet. Knock on wood. I don't want any crow's feet. But I do get those forehead wrinkles because... When I sleep, I, I, I do a lot of expressions and I, I'm like this. I dream a lot. So I know that. Anyways, it comes with this 10% vitamin C repair serum. It says 10% vitamin C plus squalane. Squalane? Don't. <laughs> squalane, I guess. Repair cream. I'll have to do a little bit more research on this. But if I'm actually looking at the ingredients, I'm like, dang. Okay, 97.2% organic, natural. Wow. What the freak? Yeah. Okay. 
I'm loving it now. <laughs> I mean, because you know what? Honestly, like sometimes we don't want to put all these chemicals on of our on our face. Sometimes we want the natural, the nature to come and absorb into our skin so we look youthful all the time. And 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 I know I'm rambling. The one of the first ingredients in here, one of the first ingredients is aloe vera gel. And if you guys don't know, aloe vera gel is freaking phenomenal for your skin. Okay, plus you can ingest it. Just, no, you can't ingest this. You can ingest aloe vera. <laughs> you just kind of get the um, stuff out of the middle, put it in a juice, blend it, you're good. Okay, and then I'm seeing like vitamin C. I'm like, okay, sunflower, safflower oil, which is great for your skin. Um, wow. Okay, guys, like I am pretty darn impressed. Green tea, shea butter. Uh, fruit extracts, argan oil, cucumber. Wow, girl, girl, you, this is freaking great. First impression, I, I'm like, first impressions, and I'm dropping everything. I just don't know. First impressions, I do like, and I am very impressed. I like the fact also that it has, I don't know, I gotta look up what the, why it has texture right here. Maybe it's so you don't slip as you're doing it. Or I don't know, maybe it's to, I don't know. Why does it have texture on the handle? But yeah, so far so good. After I'm done with my day, I'm going to go ahead and remove all my makeup and we're gonna try this together and see what do we think? Is it awesome? It sure sounds like it's awesome. And the fact that it's manufactured in Miami, made in the USA, woo, woo, wow, girlfriend, you get like five stars for that. No offense to my international audience, but, you know, if you're from a country, you kind of want products to be made in that country. I mean, agree? Agree? I don't know. You guys let me know. Anyways, I'll see you guys tonight when I'm taking all of this mess off my face and putting some natural goodness and some holes in my face. Hey guys, so I just got out of the shower. This is going to be the first time me ever trying micro needling or derma rolling. So I'm going to go ahead and open the package and we're going to take a close look at this and see what it looks like. So you guys can see my fingers are actually on all of the needles and I really don't feel anything like it doesn't hurt. It doesn't feel like anything. It just kind of feels like maybe sandpaper. So I'm supposed to sanitize this thing. So I poured, I think this is like 70% alcohol in a little container here. And I'm going to let it soak for a few minutes, make sure that I am sanitizing this thing before applying it to the face. But I'm going to get some toner. I'm gonna to use the brightening toner here by Good Molecules. And I'm going to tone my face. And then we're gonna come back and try this roller on it. If I remember correctly, this toner that I'm using is alcohol free. So let's go ahead and just try it on the skin and make sure. The reason I'm toning is because you're supposed to have your face like super, super clean before doing this. Absolutely no products on your face from what I've seen online and watching some of Jen's, Jen Amber's tutorials on this. And I don't want to put like rubbing alcohol on my face. So I'm using a lightweight toner just to reassure that I'm cleaning everything. I am gonna take it down the neck. This is the first time me trying this and my skin wasn't squeaky clean like I thought it was. So it's a good thing that I toned it. So I don't know about you guys, but I, uh, I know how lazy I am at night. And I'm not going to always constantly be pouring alcohol into a bowl. So I actually have this tiny little container that sits by my sink. And I just put it with the alcohol in it. And then I can cover it and reuse it since the alcohol is so strong. I know that it will disinfect this every time I re-dip it in uh, there. Maybe it's not recommended. Maybe you're supposed to pour fresh alcohol. I just know how lazy I get. And this works be best for me because I'll just pull it out, dip it in, and then put it on my face. So I just kind of like wiggling it back and forth, getting all the excess liquid off of it. And let's go ahead and try. So what I'm going to do 
Actually, you know what, guys? I think there's still alcohol on it. So maybe you're not supposed to do this, but I'm going to rub it on my towel just twice just to take off the excess liquid. Okay, so I'm going to one, two, three. Ooh, whoa. You see, you see that? I turned red. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Two, three. I am going to be putting my hand here and trying to pick up my eyebrow because I don't want my fingers to go over the part that I just did. I am going to do it right here as well. One, two, three. I have heard that this actually helps with hair growth as well um, because you're stimulating the skin and bringing collagen and I don't, I haven't had great luck with my hair growing in right here. You guys always want to start like horizontal lines, vertical lines, and make diagonal X's. So that's why I figured I would do my eyebrows as well. One, two, three. I have seen people do this before and they're like, oh, it's excruciating. And this just literally just kind of feels like I'm running a little bit of sandpaper over my face very fine milled sandpaper. To me, it doesn't really feel like anything. One, two, three. I've been getting wrinkles right there too. One, two, three. Especially, we wanna work on these lines. These are compression lines that I get my lap lines because I sleep and I squish my face. So I wanna go in there. One, two, three, one, two, three. Now we'll say that it is more sensitive in this area right here. So you do feel it a little bit more, but it's nothing that is unbearable. One, two, three, one, two, three. This is what I'm most nervous about is doing my top lip. My bottom lip is much smaller than my top lip. So I know I kind of want to uh, promote more collagen to the top lip. So I'm going to go over my lips just twice, not three times. And that's what I'm most nervous about because this is a bunch of little needles. One, two, that's it. So you felt that a little bit more, but it wasn't excruciating. And then the neck, one, two, three, one, two, three. Remember guys, like if you don't do your neck, you're giving away your age because your skin looks great on your face and not on your neck. People know how old you are. I don't feel no pain. Maybe a little irritation on my lip, but nothing like, you know. I couldn't find where I put this, so I've been looking for it for like three minutes. And I guess now I'm feeling what people are talk, what people talk about. They talk about like sometimes you can feel that ooh afterwards. It's not extreme. It just feels like I scratched my skin a tad bit too much on my neck area and my lip. So this says here, apply a small amount to your face and neck right after your favorite serum. Okay, so I'm gonna get my favorite serum. Can be used after micro needling. Follow will face, I think that's a typo. Follow with face oil if needed. It says follow will. Um, Use morning and evening for daytime, always follow with a sunscreen. So I am gonna take one of my creams. Since I'm going to sleep, I am going to be using the Alginist Sleeping Collagen. This stuff is mind blowing, honestly, guys, like amazing. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show, I'm gonna do a video review on it very soon and show you guys what this stuff actually does. So I think I need it in my lip. I think I'm glad I only went over twice on my lip because yeah, you feel it in your lip. I will say that the needles are pretty sharp because if I feel it in my lip, that means it probably penetrated more than I thought it was going to. Okay, so that's my collagen cream. Now we're gonna do this 10% uh, vitamin C repair cream. It 
since I got a little bit more than I wanted, since it was the first pump, so I'm going to put it through my neck. And then work it on top. My skin feels fine. Like, honestly. I think if you overdid this, always put the remaining stuff on the back of your hands. Kind of make your hands look younger too. I think if I overdid this, and I think this is where a lot of problems come in when people micro needle, or at least the videos that I've seen, is that when you overdo it, then yeah, I could totally see where your skin would be irritated by this. I mean, yes, my top lip feels a little like, ugh. Everything else kind of, like the irritation that I told you I was having in my neck kind of just subsided. It doesn't hurt and it I feel fine. But if you did overdo this, honestly, I would tell you like, yeah, I could imagine people would feel a tremendous amount of pain. I don't feel nothing, I'm fine. My top lip maybe just feels a little, a mm, little irritated, I guess you could say. Uh, but obviously doing your lips is optional. I just had wanted to try it on my lips. My skin feels fine. And a lot of times I ha I can be sensitive to certain products and I just poked a bunch of holes in my skin and I feel fine. So uh, I'm gonna try this over the next few weeks and we'll actually see, do we see a difference? Do we not? I don't know. I'll see you guys throughout the next few weeks. Let me take a picture so we can compare this picture to, I don't know, like 30, 30 days or six weeks. Ah, uh, yeah, for some reason, it's so much more sensitive right here. And then I'm gonna do my neck as well. I'm gonna start doing it between my boobs right here. But obviously, I'd have to tone them. I start doing it between my boobs because I'm getting that boob wrinkle, if you guys don't know. So, like I said, this is the third time. I will see you guys uh, in a few weeks and we'll see if there's results or not. This is going to be my fourth time. And that dip and the texture right here, I'm going to show you guys close up. I think it gets worse before it gets better. Okay guys, so I'm zooming you in, and this is the reason why I think it gets worse before it gets better, because it's like, you can see, let me try to focus the lighting a little better. I don't know, just like right within here. Looks very rough, actually. And like, I know you can see, like it looks like it's starting to dip right there, which is really weird, you know? But it's really rough and it's starting to dip, so. I don't know. I mean, I know I lose collagen as I age, like everybody does. Let's look close up on my eyes. So you guys are seeing a really super close up of my pores, my wrinkles. This is where I get that compression wrinkle right here. So we shall see. This is going to be the fourth time doing this. Mm, this lip, top lip is really sensitive. Two, three. Every time I do it, it almost feels like my skin's like more, much more sensitive each time I do it. Okay, guys. So this is the fifth time me using this device. Like I had mentioned before, I skip so many days and then use it. So I was watching Jen Amber's videos and she actually shows that you're supposed to be more aggressive than what I've been being. I guess I've been a little bit of a wimp. So I've been doing it very gentle, but I guess I want to be more aggressive because I want to see results faster. So I'm going to do, I'm going to show you guys kind of what she showed. To do this treatment is going to take three to five minutes if you're starting. So you're starting for um, three, four times, let's say up to five times. You would want to do no longer than five, maximum five minutes on your face. Length shouldn't be more than five minutes of actual rolling. And still, I will say if you have sensitive skin, don't do more often than three minutes. Now technique. I have done so many, many videos, but now I'm going to show you guys techniques for beginners. So beginners always want to start like horizontal lines vertical lines and make diagonal axis so let's say like this let's start from the forehead i go like this i always do the straight line and i always lift the marola so you don't want to drag like this zigzag you want to go straight line 
lift the morale go straight line lift the morale straight line and lift the morale straight line and lift the morale you want to do the same one you can go back to the same line vertical lines the same let's say i go two three times over the same lines and then you go diagonal so the same thing you do on your cheeks on this one on this one around the lips make sure when you for example you have like this over here you don't do that you're going just like this like this basically you don't wherever you have a round corners on your eyes you don't do this on the eye you do this this and this this eye this this and this for example if you're going to do over here on the jaw maybe it's fine on the jaw because um not so very like round place but i still will do like this one two three four five six seven eight so guys i'm gonna do cheeks right now okay now chin left and my nose left so on the chin how i do like this now on the lip over here is more complicated and it's more painful so i'm just going this way because the roller is too large to go like that for lips i actually have aqua stamp i'm selling another microneedling tool that this will be amazing to go over the lip but i'm going like this with the roller i make that weird face and now nose how i do my nose so basically this way For the nose, I will use also aqua stump. It's much easier to access. So basically, I go all the possible direction because there is so little space. It's amazing for the blackheads, guys. If you have blackheads, then rolling on your nose is amazing. So, and the same you will do on the neck also. Do lines like this, like this, like this diagonal. I'm not doing anything on my neck, guys, because I have a thyroid issues and I don't want to touch my neck at all. Now, what do I do after? After I go to the bathroom, I pour or spring alcohol, I leave in my case until the next morning, until dry out. You can leave this over the top like this, but make sure it's open and you leave it until next morning, until it's dry. It also show the neck, which was interesting. And I thought like, oh, this is what you guys have seen me doing in the neck, right? Just up and down like that, right? Going up to the jawline. Then she did this. She went the same thing. Like she went horizontal. She went vertical. Then she went diagonal. And I'm like, wow. Okay. So obviously I was a big chicken all this time. Not wanting to do this. Now I'm going to take you down just a little bit further. I just got out of the shower. We can see these lines on my chest. Those are the, the wrinkles, the breast wrinkles that I was talking about. When you have large boobs, your boobs kind of squish together when you sleep and it's like a compression ring. Okay guys, so, so this is what I'm talking about. You guys can see my chest right here and the lines and the wrinkles. So I'm gonna go ahead and test out that product and see if it does a difference within a week or not. But if you see, my wrinkles are pretty darn deep. So we're gonna do the same thing on the chest. And you can obviously see the lines much more intense on my chest. Why am I doing this to my chest and my neck? Because why would I want my skin being like super firm or beautiful and flawless? So it was horizontal and diagonal, horizontal and vertical. Now I'm going diagonal. Um, why would I want my skin on my face to look all wonderfully beautiful? And then my neck give away my age. It just really feels like a scratchy hand. You know what? This is a God honest truth, guys. I know I've said it before. If I didn't have this little container, I would not be doing this as often. I wouldn't be consistent in it because this is sitting by my sink. I just open it and throw it in there. You know, if I actually had to pull out the alcohol every time to disinfect this bad boy, I would not. Oh, what she was saying when you disinfect it, that you're supposed to leave the top off just a little bit or this way or whatever. Just leave it open to vent so that it actually 
I don't know, it doesn't create moisture in there, which is totally understandable. Okay, so uh, fifth time, a few weeks later, looks good. I'll see you guys in a few weeks. Okay guys, so I thought I would come and do this check-in. This is, Zumi and I are just leaving the gym. There's a Zumi right there. We're just leaving the gym, right? Yesterday I did the derma rolling, but I did it more aggressively. And today I have felt like I'm sunburned and like irritated all day long. But we just finished our workout. I noticed about 40 minutes or 30 minutes into the workout, like the sweat that's collecting on my face started to really give you like a burning sensation. So maybe, maybe it's not the best to go work out the day after uh, rolling, you know, uh, derma rolling because I do have like a tremendous amount of irritation. Mind you, I put my serum on this morning. I put a sunscreen. I put a sunscreen because I don't want to have any damage. You guys can see I'm walking through the sun, going to the gym, things like that. I'm trying to stay out of the sun as much as possible because I don't want any more damage, but I do have this overwhelming, oh, and my skin's like, I mean, I have foundation on, powder foundation, but my skin's like, oh, red and itchy and irritated. But I guess that's just one of the side effects and me working out didn't help very much with that feeling of my skin. Okay guys, so you guys have seen me do this. You saw me that I went to the gym yesterday and my reaction. Now I was like, hmm, am I really seeing a difference in my skin? There is something drastic that happened over here. So uh, you guys can see right here, you see this spot right there? You can see it cause I kind of pushed on it to see if anything would come out of it. So this spot I got uh, like uh, two, a year and a half, two years ago. I don't know, it was like, it's almost like a pimple that refills and I have to pop it. And the fact that it's like in this area, right? That shows, that's where I put highlighter. It, it stands out so much. And if I look at it now, it is so super tiny compared to what it used to look like. And the fact that it's not, it doesn't have a place for it to fill up with um, like pus. I know it's kind of gross to say, but yeah, this thing was like a pimple and you could pop it. I would pop it every few days and like this sebum would come out of it and the only reason that you're really noticing it is because i was pushing on it right to see if anything would come out of it and nothing's coming out of it it's almost like it's going away completely which is amazing and this derma rolling is the only thing i've done different in my routine i'm just like wow Good morning. So I wanted to show you guys a picture, a close up of my eyebrow right here. So I noticed that there's hair growing in my eyebrow where there has not been hair growing for years. And it, no, it's not like super thick hair, it's baby fine hair. But regardless, like when you guys see I do my eyebrows, I shade it in, I shade it in right there because my eyes, my eyebrows should come out to here, should come out to here. And you can see there's hardly anything right there. So let me show you the picture really quick. Now you see what I was talking about? Isn't that freaking awesome? The only thing I've done different in my skincare routine for hair to grow is the derma rolling. So that is a plus plus. Can you imagine if you constantly do it in your hairline or in your hair, you're actually going to get new hair that grows and maybe it's not going to be as super thick as the original hair but it is actually but it's hair growth and that's all that really matters so i think that's really really cool okay guys so i thought i would turn on the camera and tell you so i'm in the kitchen and i'm cooking a bunch of dishes here but i do notice that every time that i derma roll if i work out the next day or i start sweating or if i'm over like hot steam because i'm cooking and it's hot in the kitchen that i start getting this oh this extreme itch to my skin where i just want to scratch all over but i'm not i did notice that so be aware like when you derma roll that you're going to have that type of sensitivity the next day so maybe do it before you work out like two days before you work out or two days before you're standing over a hot stove cooking a bunch of dishes <laughs> anyways i did want to let you guys know that but since i derma rolled last night it's just so much more intense today. Okay guys, so I'm doing the derma roller again. I've done it already plenty of times. Now I'm gonna be really, really honest with you guys. 
like I have seen a tremendous, tremendous difference in my skin. And I want to see if I can actually zoom it in and show you what I have seen on my skin. Okay, guys, so you guys are super, super close. So right here on my nose and right here on my nose, I get these like super, let me try to stay in camera. I get these super, super fine, fine lines. Right, right here, right? And so I, I don't know if you can tell, like, that is super, super close. I don't know if you can tell, this is super, super close up in 4K uh, recording. Do you see the lines? So it's like the, so like fine, fine lines here and I get a compression wrinkle right here. Fine, fine lines here. And this is what really bothers me, right? But if you can see, like the texture is very different, right? So it kind of changes the texture of the skin. So I, what all of this is, it was really, really smooth, really, really smooth. And then you had lines before, right? So it really stood out. And by doing this right here, especially in the areas that you have wrinkles. So I've noticed that if you can see, it's like the skin looks like all one texture, but it's not like super, super duper smooth, right? It's like, it has, um, I don't know, like, let me try to explain. Let me turn the camera around and explain what I think. So you guys can see what I'm talking about, right? Okay, guys, this is going to be the most silliest demonstration or example that I could give you. Here is my toothbrush, right? <laughs> so before I had like smooth skin and then I had wrinkles. So these are like, you know, you would see these wrinkles. You notice the wrinkles more because it's like you have a smooth skin and then you have wrinkles, right? Now, what the the roller has done, it's it's made it like this. So it's all like one flat surface. You can see from the side, it's all one flat surface, but it's textured differently. So instead of super shiny like this, it's textured evenly, all the same height, all the same texture, but it looks like this. It looks different. It's more like, like a super slick road, right? When it gets wet, how you kind of notice these little holes in a road that you're driving on the highway, you kind of notice the little holes. You kind of notice where the water goes into the tar a little bit, but is it still a solid surface? Pretty much, right? So that's kind of what it's done here versus it was a super slick road and it had a line, like a ridge in the, in the road. And you notice that so much more because there's a ridge in a small surface versus the water goes into the tar and you can see all these little, it looks like it's still one, one texture, but you can see all these little, like it's just different texture, but it's still smooth. That's what it's done to here. It's, I know, I know it's so stupid the way that I'm explaining this and I can't think of anything else for some reason, but I hope you understand. Good morning, this is the next day. I just wanna turn on the camera and really show you guys in the daylight here. Look at this. So those wrinkles, now you guys can see much better in this lighting, I think. Those wrinkles that normally are right here that bug the heck out of me. Look at that. You can see the difference it's in the texture, but the lines are gone. And I'm not all red, so when you derma, well, I get red when I derma roll afterwards, but look, skin is looking great. Now, I just dropped Zumi off at school. When I did that, I should have just thrown on some sunscreen because you don't want to be out in the sun without any any protection to your skin, especially a few days, uh, like the immediate day after or even like a few days after derma rolling. You want to protect what we are trying to promote and that's healthy skin and protect all of this because it's more delicate after derma rolling. Okay guys, so I just showered and I did this a little different today. I was kind of lazy, so I cleaned my skin. I don't know if you guys know what this is. It's called the Lumi Spa. This takes away all impurities off the skin. It really, this is like next level cleaning your skin. So I use this in the shower to clean my skin, my neck, and my chest. And then I derma rolled in the shower. Now I will tell you when you derma roll in the shower, 
it feels the same, but when you get out, it's more intense. And I, I think it makes sense because your skin is like softer because I was in the shower for a long time. It's softer. So it has more abilities to actually penetrate the skin. You just think about it. Skin soft, rubbing needles on it, it's it's actually penetrating more. Does she ever recommend this as any other uh, derma rolling video or tutorial or review ever recommend that? No, but I want to try it. You know, I, I am like, I like to get faster results quicker. So I did try it. You do feel more intense and you can see how red I am after getting out. Now I forgot to derma roll over here in the corners. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. And, or actually I didn't derma roll right here as much as I should have. I just kind of ran it over. And then when I got out, I was like, shoot, that's where I kind of focus it on. So I'm going to do that. I already put her serum on my face because it was so intense. The feeling of that irritation after you get out and her serum honestly helps so much with the irritation. I did notice that she did say that it helps with blackheads. So I'm going to be focusing it a little bit more on my nose and then that dot. So I'm going to take some pictures and we're going to compare the pictures because it's been a while. Uh, I think it's been a month, but remember I do it every two to three days. So I, ha I think I lost track how many times I've done it, but every two to three days. And that is, do the math. You guys do the math. I just, I stopped counting after I think like six times. So I don't know why I keep doing that because I already did that. So she doesn't say that you're supposed to derma roll over the serum, but because I forgot to do that, I'm going to go ahead and just put some more serum on top of there. And I'll tell you, like, seriously, the serum helps so much. I'm going to go ahead and take the pictures and we are going to compare. Oh, you know what? Let me show you. So I was doing my face in the shower and my neck and I also was doing my chest. So let's see. I haven't done my chest as much as I've done my face, but let's see. Do you guys see a difference? Because I did show you that video. So we can see that line right there still. We can see some lines right here, but are they like they used to be? On this one, I'm going to have to compare video to video to see if they are the same. You guys can see this, the lights glistening off my chest. I know you see some of them, but are they as intense? I don't know. So I'm gonna do a comparison right now, video to video of my chest area, and then I'm gonna take the pictures and we're gonna compare the pictures. So I'm sitting here just getting ready for the day and I will tell you that sometimes, look how red my skin is. Sometimes my skin turns really, really red. So that's why I would recommend doing this at night. But sometimes it also feels like I have a sunburn all over my face. And then you guys can see my chest from derma rolling. Um, yeah, so, but it's not like it's unbearable, but it does definitely feel like I have a sunburn. Oh, and remember, wear your SPF if you're gonna go outside. Okay guys, so I want to talk about these products and what did you see? Well, I'm going to tell you what I saw and I like, you know, you guys let me know down below in the comment section what you thought. Honestly, I thought that this derma roller has done a dramatic difference to my skin um, within the amount of time that it's done, that I've been using it. I think I've been using it for a month now, maybe a little over a month, something like that. Um, and mind you, that's not every day. That's every other day, then skip two days and do it again. Like, wow, I can see the biggest difference. Okay, especially, I think it's this, yeah, this side. You can't see it right here. I have a big strawberry. That's what, I don't know the technical name for a strawberry, but it's like this red vein that I get on the side of my nose. I've had it since I was little. They call it, a, they, I was raised calling it a strawberry. So I have this strawberry on the side of my nose. I don't think you can see it, but you can kind of see that line. Like, I never thought. That is a vein that is there on the side of my nose. It's been there since I was a child. I just figured there's no way you can get rid of something like that. It's a red vein on top of the skin. This, I don't know what the heck this did. But this did something to the point, maybe the needles, uh, I don't know. I couldn't, I can't even explain it. Maybe they puncture the skin 
well, of course they puncture the skin. They puncture the skin, bringing more blood flow up to the top of it, kind of like letting that vein dissipate. I don't know. I'm not a medical professional. <laughs> so if there's any medical professionals out there, could you please explain to me how a strawberry, a vein on the side of my nose, it's been there since I was born, kind of dissipated using this. It is mind blowing to see that. So uh, that's just proof right there. And that area has never been rough. And it just... I don't know, guys, like it's never been rough. It's always been smooth and I just kind of rub creams on it. I've never really treated it. This here just kind of took it away. Now, I saw the biggest reduction in my wrinkle right here between my eyes. I am going to continue using this um, for the rest of my life. <laughs> but you guys know, like I only can test a product for so long because like that's what I do for a living. I test anti-aging products and I have given this a full month. I will not literally 30 days, but you get what I'm saying. Skip a day, skip two days, you know, things like that. But biggest difference in the amount of time that I've been doing this, the biggest difference, like night and day. What else did I notice? Oh, let's see here. Let's see if we can get the light reflecting. Do you see wrinkles right there, guys? Do you see wrinkles? do you see wrinkles look at this right here like wow so blown away now i'm being completely transparent here the uh this uh serum this is actually an amazing serum especially once you've derma rolled and your skin is irritated i used this plenty of times but i was also in the middle of doing a review for the luna retinol sleeping night oil so I did this retinol sleeping night oil for about 21 days. So I was using this. Originally, I started using this. I started testing this, using this for around, I don't know, a week or so. And then I started testing this onto my skin. So after I did the 21 days of that, I went back to using this, which is amazing, guys. Like, it just takes down the inflammation of my that that oh in your skin it takes down that inflammation it kind of soothes and calms everything i am blown away because you know what to see these type of results to see um like the wrinkles disappear like the forehead wrinkle to not be as intense for this line to go away like oh yeah you know what let's bring the camera down a little bit okay guys i brought you guys down a little bit what do you think of the chest area? Like, there is the light shining off of it. Okay, let me squeeze together. Like, wow. I want you to, I want you guys to keep in mind that I did not do my chest area as long as I did my face. To see this type of reduction in that horrendous boob wrinkle is like, oh, M G. I am so blown away. I kind of thought in the back of my head, which I didn't tell you guys this at the beginning of the video, I kind of thought in the back of my head, yeah, you know what? This is good, but it's probably just another gimmicky product, you know? But wow, my skin, I think at first kind of got worse. I did get occasionally a pimple, which I don't get pimples, and an occasional blackhead and I honestly think that was maybe for me touching my face or something after um derma rolling I did get that and then I think it got more textured at first um but as time went on I think my skin looked better I think it looked more youthful I think like wow I think my skin looks great the fact oh and this guy's this line right here so you saw I measured it right I measured it from what it used to be and what it what it is now. Like this is just this is fat collection. This is a line, obviously, because my 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 double chin. But did it reduce this line? It did. It is mind blowing, amazing. I will post Jen Amber's information down below her website, the one I used. If you guys want to try it for beginners, or you want to be, or you want to be brave and go to the next step. 
I do honestly recommend starting off the way that I started off, even though I know she says that you're supposed to start off this way, this way, this way, you know, horizontal, vertical, and then make an X, you know? But like, I feel like when you're first starting something like this, you want to start in baby steps, you know, kind of, kind of like what I did. I ran it over one direction for a little while. Then I built my courage up and I eventually got more aggressive and more aggressive. I think that that's how everybody should start because you don't want to have a super bad experience and be like, oh, it's too intense, too much, too quick. You want just those little baby steps. And that is what I would do. I'm going to I, I, this this roller is just amazing and honestly guys I know I was saying the texture on the roller and stuff early earlier like at the beginning of the video the texture I think that the texture is just so you can grip it because I noticed it it's on top right here and then it's on the bottom I, I think that's so your fingers don't slide and you don't stab yourself <laughs> I think that really is a great safety uh precaution I mean a safety measure that they put on so I can really grip it and I don't slide as far as this like, like how it feels on the skin, the ingredients it's made of, like this is completely a five star product. I am not exaggerating. If it's from a one to a five, I'm going to say a five. I wish I could give it a six. Uh, amazing product. Just so you guys know, this is not sponsored. I'm completely transparent. We are completely transparent. This is not a sponsored video. I don't get one penny for this video. Do I know Jen Amber? No, I don't. Have I watched her on YouTube for many years? Yes, I have. But this is my personal experience directly with you guys. So this channel, I hope I have your trust and I really appreciate if you trust me and know that I'm being completely transparent. I'm being completely honest with you guys. So I, uh, I appreciate your trust of me testing out products like this and you know I don't take that for granted I appreciate everybody watching my videos and giving them a thumbs up as well and letting me know down below in the comment section so anyways if you could uh, push that thumbs up button little subscribe button and the tiny little bell next to it for notifications of new videos leave me a comment down there I would really appreciate it let's go ahead and just roll on over to the quote of the day I'll see you guys in my next video I love and appreciate all of you. Thank you. Bye.